The biggest collaboration probably is in the script part. And then the other biggest collaboration is doing your post-production. You know, and during post-production, Hornet would show me cuts, I would give my, my notes, my point of view, and then Hornet, that he's his own editor, he would go and address whatever he agreed, and, and, but shaping the film in, in his own way, you know? And, but uh, I think that I'm very happy that to see that uh, Hornet is following some, some sort of uh, of trend that a lot of filmmakers that I like they do is like and and also friends like Guillermo and Alejandro and and Pavel Pavlikovsky that we uh, we send each other material to have a very honest reaction to it you know very tough and very honest and then we get very involved in the post production of of, uh, of of the other filmmakers you know in terms of the editing and and final choices and. Jonas seek that, uh, and he got uh, great, great, great uh, feedback from, you know, Alejandro and Guillermo and and uh, Amat Escalante. So filmmakers are from his generation as well, and uh, 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 and Pavel. So um, I think that that's something that also helped Jonas to shape his process. Early on, I remember, is, 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 I said, because I remember talking to him and he was shooting and he was all like, and I said, man, pace yourself. You know, it's, 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 you have a long shoot ahead of you and very physical, pace yourself. No, I'm good, I'm good. And then later says, yes, I should have slowed down a little bit at the beginning, you know? But I, you know, it's just the thing is, uh, our relationship is not so much about advice or mentoring, it's more like two collaborators. This film is a, a, a thriller, it's an edge of your seat uh, kind of ride uh, that follows this group of migrants, Mexican migrants, trying to cross the desert for uh, seeking for a better life. In the case of some of them actually coming back to their families because part of uh, a tragedy that happens with all of these immigration issues is that some some uh, people, some migrants that they've been living for years and they have their families, then they are deported, and and now they struggle to cross to cross into the U.S. is is to be back to your families. Their families are basically in the U.S. are American families, and so that's one of our characters. And in in this journey. Uh, they are confronted by this uh, vigilante that uh, has decided to take all these rhetoric speeches at face value, and is taking <clears throat> and he's taking action against these migrants, basically chases them and killing them. So it's uh, and ends up being a uh, it's a, a, a cat, cat and mouse kind of situation in the desert between this vigilante played by Jeffrey Lee Morgan. And, and this Mexican migrant played by Gal Garcia Bernal. Well, that was Jonas. Uh, ever since he was writing and he's showing me his very first draft, he said, you know, it's something that I would love Gael to do. And I've been, uh, he hasn't read the script yet, but I've been talking with him and he's very excited about this. And uh, Jonas has his own relationship with, with Gael. It's obvious just generationally. You know, I work with Gael and collaborate with Gael, but Gael and Jonas are the same generation. So they're very good friends. And, and for years, they've been talking about collaborating. And, uh, and finally, they did it. And I think it was a, a fantastic collaboration. I mean, it's uh, the, the, the rapport between Gael and Jonas in how each, each, each one takes care of the other is, is really beautiful. And he said, uh, I, uh, I don't see anybody else in this film that is not Gael. Well, that was, again, Jonas's choice. One day he comes and says, hey, I, I, I met with Jeffrey, and, and this, is, this is Sam. He is Sam. The moment I just say hello to him, I knew it. He says, he's absolutely charming. 
you know, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's as a person, and actually as, a, as an actor, you can see it's a, it's, a, it's a character that's very charismatic, also very sexy, you know, and uh, so, uh, and on top of that, a fantastic actor, yeah? And foremost, is he's a fantastic actor. And he really went for, for this visceral approach. Uh, Jonas, Gael, and Jeffrey, they work together, creating all these long dialogues and all these backstories, and a lot of those scenes they shot. And then it was Jonas's wisdom to say, you know what, I don't need that. You know, that, that is, oh, uh, Jeffrey's already conveying all of that through his own body language, through his own uh, uh, visceral response to absolutely everything. So actually, part of the editing process of Jonas was to get rid of dialogue, uh, trusting that the actors were delivering what the text was just being redundant. First of all, because it's an amazing ride. I mean, I, I guarantee that people who go and see this film, there are going to be a couple of film minutes into the film, they're going to be at the edge of their, their seat. And, and before they know that the film is going to be over and they will be in the same position, probably not breathing from the beginning. Uh, so it's a, it's a very effective thriller. It's a very effective action film. Yo le dije que, le, que se lo iba a traer de vuelta sano y salvo. Keep you in a